welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming the long-awaited baby girl haul. I have accumulated quite the amount of stuff for baby girl over the last couple months. Um, my husband and I even started shopping for her before we were pregnant. Um, some people think that's bad luck. I don't really care. <laughs> so I was excited. I knew we were going to be growing our family and so We've been kind of collecting baby stuff for quite a while now, and yeah, I thought it'd be kind of fun to share with you what we have so far. So since it has taken me quite a while to film this video, I have only accumulated more baby stuff, so we have quite the amount to go through. Um, my mom did come over the other day, or the other week or month actually by now, and we organized everything kind of into types, and so I'm gonna kind of go through everything that way. I think it'll just be easier to, um, I don't know, film that way. Today's video, as you can probably also already tell, is going to be a little more on the casual side than I'm used to on my channel just because I'm 22 weeks pregnant. I just wanted to get this video out of the way. So I'm filming on my vlog camera instead of my big camera because it's easier to set up. I'm just sitting on my floor in the living room. I did have to lug all of my baby stuff downstairs. The nursery's upstairs where we're storing everything and I had to bring it all downstairs. There's a little munchkin in the back because it is just too hot to film upstairs today. It is the middle of June and it is toasty. So yeah, we're just going to kind of keep things really casual today and I hope you don't mind, but I hope you're excited to look at all sorts of fun, cute baby things. <laughs> so before we get started, um, my husband and I didn't buy all of the stuff that I'm going to show you. Um, we did buy a good amount, um, but some of it came in free registry baby boxes like, um, Oh, I can't remember now. I did them a while ago, but uh, Amazon does a free baby box. Uh, baby List, which is where we are hosting our registry, does a free baby box list. Those two were my favorite. Target also has one, um, and I can't remember where else, but there's a whole bunch. You can, you can look online, and a whole bunch of places give you just kind of free little goodie bags of baby things uh, if you sign up for a registry with them or if you just sign up for a free box. So, yeah. A lot of that stuff's from that. Also, um, grandparents have kind of been um, pitching in and you know getting all sorts of gifts and cute things for baby girl so far as well. Um, so some of these things are gifts. We've um, and yeah, but uh, I'm going to start off with kind of the boring things and get them out of the way. I just whiz through them really quick so that we can knock it out and get to the cute stuff. So at first, I just have this whole big thing of diapers. So my husband and I are planning on cloth diapering. However with most of the free baby boxes, they will come with at least one or two samples of diapers or wipes. So I think these will be really nice to have um, as kind of a backup since we will obviously be first time parents. We've never, never cloth diapered before and I think these will be a nice backup just as we're kind of getting into the swing of things and getting used to cloth diapering. Um, and we won't have to actually buy any diapers. We just have a nice little stash of, um, I believe mostly size ones from all the different, you know, baby boxes that I have signed up for. Yeah, most of these are size ones. And so I assume that's the smallest size and we can use these right away. Um, there's also um, like some Honest Company diapers. Like there's, you know, some good brands that have come in these boxes. And there's also wipes, and I'm specifically excited about these water wipe samples because these are the wipes that I am planning on hopefully using. Um, oh, there's also a bigger pack of these. And yeah, so I'm excited to kind of get a free sample of these and try them out. Although I guess by the time I try them out, I already have bought some boxes of them. But either way, yeah, I think it's a really good way to try out a bunch of different brands of um, diapers and wipes before committing to buying a whole large pack. So if you are undecided on what brand you want to use, I would definitely suggest going out and picking up as many baby boxes as you can so you can try out a bunch of different kinds. Along that same thread, we have a ton of bottles. So I already have actually picked out the bottles that I want to try using. I want to try using the Nano Bay Bay bottles and the Como Tomo bottles. Those are the two that um, I am going to register for or buy specifically to try out first. However, I have watched a lot of mommy vloggers and a lot of different YouTubers and baby must have things and a lot of moms say that uh, honestly, the baby chooses the bottle. So the mom doesn't really get to choose the bottle. Um, you have to make sure you have to find a, a bottle that works for your baby. And so I think this is awesome. I haven't bought a single one of these. All of these bottles came from um, baby boxes. So yeah, another great way to just try out a bunch of different brands without having to invest a whole lot of money in buying 10 different types of bottles just to figure out what your baby likes. So I have some really popular brands here too as well. There's a couple Philips Advent bottles. There's a couple different kinds of the Dr. Brown's bottles, which I know parents really like. There's a Tommy Tippy bottle, um, a Ma'am bottle. And yeah, so I am excited uh, if 
our baby doesn't end up liking the bottles um, that we <laughs> want them to like or want her to like, that we have a bunch of other options to test out. And I will be um, mostly breastfeeding, but um, my husband really wants to be able to feed her, and so um, a little you know, maybe around a month or something, we're gonna introduce a bottle so that he can do that as well. So yeah, I have all of those in there. I also have these really cool spoons that were gifted to us. They are the Pre-Spoon Goo Tensils by Num Num. And I had never seen these before. I just think they're so cool. They're obviously um, for a later stage, they're not for the newborn stage. It's six plus months once they start eating solids. But um, I think this will be a really good kind of transitional utensil for them. I think the idea is they can just basically um, kind of smush it into the puree or whatever they're eating and some will cling to the silicone spoon and then they can just stick it in their mouth. So it doesn't really require much coordination on the part of the baby. Um, and yeah, so I'm really excited to give these a try once we start solids. <laughs> All right, so those are kind of the boring little bins that I just wanted to quickly get through and now we can get to uh, the cute little baby things. So, let's see. First, I guess I can show you guys my diaper bag. Um, I opted to go with the Jujube BFF bag and I got it in Queen of the Nile print and I absolutely love this. I have had my eye on this bag for quite a while and I did a lot of research into the different diaper bag options and overall I just love the versatility of the Jujube BFF. So it has a handle on the top for just kind of easy quick carrying. It also has uh, see, I don't have any of the straps connected right now, but it has a like single over the shoulder strap. You can also convert it into a backpack um, using, again, the two straps. So you really can wear it either way. I really wanted a bag type diaper bag, but I heard a lot of moms saying that they just love the diaper bag style um, that are backpacks. And so I didn't want to get an exclusive bag style and then regret it and wish I had a backpack style. So I like that I can just kind of tailor this bag to whatever I feel is most convenient in the moment. And it also has a ton of zippers and pockets and organizers, and it comes with a nice little um, diaper like changing mat thing that slides in the back here, and it ha it's machine washable, which is amazing because I, you know, it's probably gonna get pretty dirty being a diaper bag and shoving all sorts of, you know, snacks and bottles and pacifiers and dirty clothes and whatever else comes with a baby into it. So I think that's an awesome feature in a diaper bag and I'm really excited to get it all filled up and put it to use. All right, so next I'm gonna kind of show you the techie things that I have. We have two baby gadgets so far. One you can see right behind me that I'm not gonna lift up because it's gigantic. <laughs> but it is the Hatch Baby Grow Smart Changing Pad and Scale. And this is another one that I know, I knew I wanted for a long time. Um, I like the peace of mind of having a baby scale. Um, I'm not sure exactly how often I'll use it. I probably, I mean, well, some moms weigh their baby before and after every feed, especially if they're breastfeeding to make sure their baby's getting enough milk. I probably won't use it that frequently, but I just like knowing that I'll have the option to, if I am a little nervous that I'm not producing enough milk, I can just quickly check around a feed and see, oh yeah, she is getting, you know, four ounces or whatever. <laughs> I also know that I will want to kind of keep up um, more frequent weight checks with her just for kind of my record's sake, not really for any, you know, real medical reason, because obviously she has doctor's appointments for that, but um, for her baby book, it'll just kind of be fun to, you know, keep up, uh, you know, weekly weight or something like that. I'm not really sure, but I've been really liking tracking my weight during my pregnancy, and so I figured it's just another fun little stat to kind of, um, have surrounding my baby. So, anyways, I'm really excited about this. Another thing that I'm really excited about is the fact that it is wipeable. I think it's the silliest thing that most changing pads are fabric. I, I don't know why that's the norm because they are just guaranteed to get dirty and then you have to, you know, wash it and do all sorts of laundry. And so I just think it makes so much sense to have a wipeable changing pad. And the only other one that I could find that was kind of similar was the Kikuru Peanut, which was pretty much the same price. I think it was $130 and that's literally just a changing pad. It's not a scale uh, combo thing. So yeah, this just made sense for kind of all of my different wants with a, um, changing pad, the one thing you actually can't tell by the box is that I have the limited edition white color that they released over Christmas, and my husband actually surprised me and got me this color for 
Christmas because he knew anything white that I wanted. So yeah, he was really sweet and surprised me with that. There's also an app um, that goes with the changing pad, as you can see, so you can kind of, again, keep track of the weight. Um, and I think you can record feedings and stuff in that, although I'm not sure that's the app that I'm gonna be using for that. But regardless, I think it's an awesome changing pad and I'm really excited to use it. The other little techie thing that I am so excited that we got is the Owlet uh, monitor. Is it just, yeah, Owlet Smart Sock 2. And this is a pulse ox monitor basically for your baby. You can track the baby's heart rate and oxygen levels. It's a little sensor that you place um, in what they call a sock on the baby's foot whenever they're asleep. And the sensor connects to both your phone and um, a little, I guess just sensor that you can place on a bedside table or somewhere around your house and it will go off if either your baby's heart rate or oxygen levels drop and um, alert you that something isn't right with your baby so you can go and help them. And um, I mostly got this for peace of mind. I know myself, I am a very anxious person and most new moms are anyways and so um, I knew I was going to be the one that <laughs> just lays there watching their baby sleep and making sure they're breathing and making sure they're still, you know, okay and um, I just think having this extra peace of mind will help me as a new mother calm down and kind of, you know, get sleep when I need sleep rather than watching to make sure the baby's breathing and yeah, again, mostly for that peace of mind for myself. We also got an incredible deal on it. They are normally $300 and somehow Best Buy, I'm pretty sure they made a mistake, but they were selling it for $100 on Mother's Day. And so we just snatched that right up when we saw that. So I'm really excited that we got such a good deal on it because again, just like, I'm not sure if $300 would have been all that worth it for the peace of mind. So I don't know if we would have ended up buying it if it wasn't a third of the price so yeah really excited about that super excited that we have that we also have a couple of bibs and washcloths um we have these little bandana bibs which we plan to use um, mostly for drool bibs or, or yeah drool for like when she's teething or something or while she's eating if she's a messy eater to kind of put on her so that the milk doesn't get all over her clothes um, so these will mostly be what we use the first, you know, six-ish months of her life, I guess, as opposed to bibs that um, she'll be wearing when she's eating solids. So we will mostly be using bandana bibs. I just think they're, they're cuter, they're easier to just kind of throw on over an outfit and wear, especially if you're using it for your baby drooling and you don't want to constantly be changing their clothes. Um, and yeah, so we only have two of these right now. I believe these are Cloud Island from Target and they're this really cute these two patterns um but yeah we will definitely be buying a bunch more bandana bibs we also got these silicone bibs for when she does start solids um and normally i wouldn't be shopping this far ahead because obviously we won't be needing these for quite some time but um i really really like this pattern from target and they seemed to be discontinuing it so kind of whenever i saw something in this pattern normally there was only like you know one thing per shopping trip that would be in this pattern um in stock and i would just pick it up just because i do really like this pattern and i wanted to make sure i had a couple of things before they completely stopped selling them and um i also know i really want to use these silicone type bibs that have the catch thing for when she does start solids so yeah I think these will be really useful they also roll up really nice you can kind of tuck the whole bib into the little pocket thing and make it really easy on the go so yeah love those and then we have some washcloths these again are from Cloud Island and they're in that floral print that I really like I just think it's super precious there's also a pink stripe in that set I think it's just a set of two if I'm not mistaken, four pack. Okay, so I guess there's two in each pattern, but it's the floral pattern, and then a light pink stripe. And then we also got this little Burt's Bees washcloth in one of the baby boxes that I signed up for. And then we also got a whole bunch of bathing and hygiene samples from the various baby boxes. I'm not gonna go through everything in here because it's just way too much, but I'll kind of give you a peek at all the stuff that we got. The one thing I am really excited about is this Noodle and Boo stuff. This is kind of a higher end baby like wash and lotion line and um, I'm excited to be able to try this. Um, I'll probably use this for like something special like her first bath or something like that. I've heard they smell really really good and that they're just really good quality so I am excited to have a sample of that. 
Um, and some of this other stuff I may or may not end up using. I'm going to be pretty picky about the different products that I use on her skin just because baby skin is so um, gentle and we do like to kind of try and keep things as natural as we reasonably can in our house and especially with a newborn and so some of those products I may not use I may end up just donating but um, I want to do a little more research into the products that I do want to use before I you know toss anything um, not toss anything but you know donate it because just because I don't want to use it doesn't mean someone else won't but um yeah so that's kind of it with that bin and now we can get into the cute little accessories bin um, first thing I have is another one of these little diaper clutches. The, these bags actually also came in the, um, baby boxes. A couple of them had it, and it's by Pampers, and it just had a couple Pampers diapers and wipes in it, but I emptied it out to use these for storage, and I think these will also be really good to kind of put in my diaper bag if I need some more, you know, car compartmentalizing within the diaper bag. I think these will be useful. Um, so first thing I got is this cute little Wubba Nub. I am obsessed with Wubba Nubs. I think they are the cutest things, and so I just had to get one. I'm not gonna splurge and buy any more because they are quite pricey. I think they're kind of like around 20 bucks or something like that. So until I'm guaranteed that baby girl will be taking a pacifier and will like these specific pacifiers, I'm not going to buy any more. But I uh, definitely wanted to make sure I had one to try out because I just think they're, they're freaking adorable. So there's that guy. And then um, let's see, these are the other pacifiers that I have purchased. These are the Nano Bebe pacifiers and these are the um, I think they're specifically like zero to three month or whatever, stage one or something. Um, but since we will be attempting to use those bottles, I figured we might as well attempt to use these silicone, these are these pacifiers. And I also am very partial to silicone pacifiers. I think they're a lot more sterile. There's less, um, there's no place for gunk to kind of build up, uh, with the plastic and, uh, rubber nippled like traditional pacifiers I feel like um the ring where the those two materials meet they I mean have the potential to kind of build up bacteria and I think with these one piece silicone pacifiers they're just going to be a lot easier to sterilize and keep clean so I'm pretty much exclusively going to be using um uh, all silicone pacifiers but there are a couple different brands that make them I personally really like these um I think they're Advent I don't know they're the typical ones that are given in the hospital I believe nowadays so these will probably be my front runners that I'm going to try and introduce to her but again babies have their own opinions so we will see um there are also a couple other brands that I got in the free baby boxes um these are the Nook or orthodontic pacifiers again zero to three months and I really like that they are orthodontic, so I might give these a try, although they are bright green. I'm not really a fan of the color, but you know, I mean, it's a pacifier, it's not a huge deal, so I have those to try out. I also have the Chico Natural Fit uh, Soft Silicone Orthodontic Pacifier, so I don't know if they're all advertised as orthodontic now. I'll have to do a little more research into what is actually good for their palate. Um, I do strongly want to use a pacifier though because I would like to avoid thumb sucking as much as possible because you can take away a pacifier, you can't take away a thumb, so if I can, you know, kind of shape that sucking desire into a pacifier rather than a finger, I would like to try that. Um, here's also another pacifier we got. This is a Nook orthodontic pacifier, however, this is also kind of that like plastic um, design and I'm just not a huge fan. I just, I don't know. For some reason, I just like the look of like pure silicone pacifiers better than the traditional ones. That just may be a weird preference for me, but there's so many options nowadays that, you know, why not have a preference? <laughs> All right, so I just realized we're like 20 minutes into the video and I still have a ton of baby stuff left. So I'm gonna have to stop uh, gushing over every single little thing and try and hustle through this a little bit more. Um, all right, so next up I have a whole bunch of cute bows and hats. I have this little set from Target, just kind of little um, headband bows. I actually took this one off for a picture the other day so you can kind of see what it really looks like. I also have this adorable bow and it's kind of like a knit material. So yeah, I just think this will be really nice, especially since she's gonna be born in October. So it'll start getting cold pretty soon after she's born. And so I think this will kind of be nice to also keep her head warm, but also be, you know, cute because it has a nice big bow on it. And then I have this little pink hat. 
as well as these little hats that also match the um, bandana bibs that I showed you earlier. My husband just really liked this pattern from Target, so we got a couple things from that. This little mint green one, which I love this color as well. And these are actually, oh no. So this is just a regular hat, but then the other two are um, top knot hats. So you can see right there, there's a plain gray one. And then there's also one with that little um, geometric triangle pattern, like the bandana bibs. And yeah, this little mint one has a bow on it, which I think is super cute as well. And then <laughs> these adorable little socks. I can't get over it, baby, baby socks, just like baby socks. That's all you have to say. Um, they have cute little uh, pink polka dot bows on these ones. And then there's also a set that has these kind of little frilly ruffly, um, frilly ruffly bits. <laughs> and then I think, okay, and then another, no. I think the middle pair is just, oh no, it does, it has little like, kind of scallops. I'm not sure you're gonna be able to see it, but the, the edge is like scalloped on the middle pair. So, or on all of them, I don't know. Regardless, a cute set of little baby socks. <laughs> we have some cute toys that have kind of accumulated. And this guy came in the Amazon baby box, I think. And he is so soft, I absolutely love it. I don't know what brand this is. HB, I don't know, that's what the tag says if you would like to try and find it for yourself, but it's so super soft. And I love these little like kind of lovey style animals with their blank, kind of like a blanky stuffed animal combo. I think they're super cute and yeah, love this little guy. And then we also got some gifts from grandparents. So, well, no, from grandparents and great grandparents. So this is from my husband's parents and this is a little jelly cat unicorn. She has kind of developed a little bit of an accidental unicorn theme. Um, we've collected just a couple different things from unicorn that you know have unicorns on them. And so we're kind of just run with it. And yeah, so it's this really cu cute uh, white and pink jelly cat unicorn. I love the jelly cat stuffed animal line. I think they're just absolutely precious. And we actually also have a second jelly cat unicorn that is from my grandmother, so baby girl's great grandmother. And this is what it looks like. It has this cute little like ribbon mane that I think is just gonna be so fun for the baby to play with. I mean, like, I just feel like babies die over things. Like, you know, they can chew on it and just, you know, play with it. And I just think it's cute. And it makes that cute little like tingly rattling sound. So yeah, super excited. These two are definitely going to be displayed around her nursery. We also got this little guy. My husband just saw it at the grocery store and picked it up for baby girl. I believe this is by Melissa and Doug and it's just a cute little rabbit, baby rabbit stuffed animal. And then we got this guy from my parents. They went to San Francisco recently and this actually came with a book. I didn't pull down all the books that we have for her um, to show you guys just because I feel like that would have been way too long. Um, but I think, yeah, Dragons Love Tacos is the book. And it's just a funny, cute little book and a matching little stuffed animal. So I think that'll be really fun to kind of pull this out to hand to her to play with while we read her the book. And yeah, I just think that's, that'll be really fun. And those are all the little stuffed animals that we have gotten for her so far. And let's see, next up, I'm gonna go through this bin, which is kind of a couple different miscellaneous things. So first up, we have a couple pairs of baby shoes, which I am super obsessed with. These both have been gifts. This is from Janie and Jack, and these are they like adorable little, I think they're like Mary Jane style, um, but they have this little elastic like ballet slipper like detail on it that I think is super cute and will also help them stay on her teeny tiny little feet because yeah, these are zero to three months. So these will be when she's obviously before she's walking. Um, but I just think they're so cute. I'm not sure if it's picking it up on camera. I almost couldn't tell when I first um, received them because we were out in the sun, but they are this very super light pale pink and it's just they're like the cutest thing in the freaking world. I mean anything Janie and Jack is just out of this world adorable. So um, we also got these adorable little, I think, again, I think this is called Mary Jane, right? Like the little kind of little girl shoes. I'll take them out of the box you can see. But there are these little white patent leather Mary Janes. And again, super adorable. They are by Laura Ashley. And they have these little heart cutouts kind of going up around the toe box area. And they're just the cutest things. I feel like baby shoes. 
I just, I love it. We also have a couple different boppy covers. Oh, we actually also have a boppy that we um, received as a hand-me-down from our neighbors that I forgot to pull in for this video. Um, they gifted us a boppy, two covers, and a baby Catan for miles, um, but I forgot to bring that down, so. That's also kind of part of the haul, but um, we have two boppy covers. This is the one that my husband picked out. Obviously, we both like both of them, but um, it's this cute little whale pattern, and um, it has anchors on the other side. He grew up sailing, so obviously he really liked this pattern, and this is the one um, that I picked out. It has little elephants. This was actually, a couple of these things are more gender neutral because, like I said, we were shopping before we actually a, got pregnant and B knew we were having a girl so this is pretty gender neutral but I just think it's adorable regardless um it's little elephants and then it has a mint border and then gray and white stripes on the other side and yeah I just think these are super cute and I know we're going to be using boppies like crazy I worked in um an infant classroom in an early childhood education center for a while and we used boppies for everything for feeding for tummy time for like kind of assisted um sitting time <laughs> um yeah so really excited to have a bunch of different covers because i know i also know the pop covers get very dirty very easily and so it'll be nice to kind of be able to have some to switch out so we don't have to wash you know do laundry every single time we want to change the cover i also got a cute little baby blanket in that pattern from target that i liked i am super excited about this and i just can't wait to like wrap her up in this and snuggle and just i don't know this is my favorite thing that i got out of that target pattern i just think it's so precious and darling and i think it's actually going to end up matching her nursery i think we've decided on a kind of light pink and a mint bluey color um for her nursery so yeah i think this will be really cute and i might end up displaying it on like my um like glider or something like that um yeah i just really like that we also got her a little swaddle this is another kind of sailing themed item that my husband picked out it is by the brand little unicorn and it is a cotton muslin swaddle and it has this really cute little sailboat print on it and then we also have a couple of swaddles. This one we got in a baby box. I forget which one. I want to say the Amazon box. That one came with a lot of really nice products. So if you're pregnant, I definitely recommend signing up for that one. That one was totally worth it. Uh, that and the baby list box. Those were my two favorite. I think I already said that, but just to kind of repeat. <laughs> um, this actually also could have come in the baby list box now that I'm thinking about it, but I don't really remember. Anyways, it is the Swaddle Me or Original Swaddle, um, and I really like these kind of easy DIY swaddle things um, because it looks easy enough to swaddle with just a big square blanket, but I've never actually tried. So apparently my camera cut me off and it needed a second to cool down, but that also gave me a second to eat a quick snack because I'm 22 weeks pregnant, I am hungry all the time. So if I have chip dust kind of in my lipstick, sorry about that, but anyways, I think I was right at talking about swaddles when it cut me off, so I'm just gonna pick up there. But um, I have this Swaddle Me original swaddle, and again, I was saying I just really like these kind of, you know, all-in-one, easy-to-use swaddles. Um, so this will be nice to give a try. This is another thing that I think you just kind of have to try a couple of different brands to see what works for you and your baby. Um, I also am really excited to try this Love to Dream Swaddle Up. This um, is actually one of the very, very first things that I ever bought for babies. So yeah, I just think they're the cutest little things with their hands, like, you know, swaddled up by their face. And I just think it makes sense um, if your baby likes sleeping with their hands up, but they still obviously need to be swaddled against that startle reflex. Um, I think these will be really useful. So I have two different kinds to try out as of now. And if need be, I can go out and buy more to try, but that's what we have to start off with at the moment. And then I think that kind of wraps up all of our clothes or all of our items. And now I can get into baby clothes, which we have a lot of baby clothes, but I still want to show you guys because they're stinking adorable. But I am going to try and kind of rush through it and not take too long to go over each outfit because that would just make a really long video. Also, my camera doesn't have that much battery left, so I'm trying to kind of race the clock here. So let's get into it <laughs> first little onesie i have here my parents again picked up for her in san francisco and it's just kind of a cute little you know touristy san francisco onesie and i also have i think what is my current favorite outfit for her this is again from janie and jack and it's the dress that goes with these cute little shoes and i just i'm so in love with it 
like I said, you can't go wrong with Janie and Jack. They just have the cutest items ever. And I think this might be, depending on how big she is and what she, when she fits into this, this is zero to three months. Um, but again, it might be a little bit before she, I feel like she's going to be a small baby. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I want, I think I want to try and put her in this for Thanksgiving or something like obviously a special cute occasion just because it's just so cute and fancy. But I do really like that it's this really thick like knit material. Like I said, she's going to be born in fall, kind of beginning of winter will be her first couple of months. So it'll be chilly, but I can still dress her up in a cute little dress and keep her warm because it's a nice warm knit um, style. And then I can throw, you know, some cute white uh, tights or leggings or something in a little sweater over her if need be to keep her even toastier. All right, I said I wasn't going to ramble and here I am rambling and I'm about to ramble again about this <laughs> set of onesies. Um, but the rest of the clothes I'm going to try and whiz through. But this little set is actually one of the first things that we bought when we found out we were having a little girl and it's actually also what we used to tell our family members that we were having a girl. So it has kind of a sentimental place in my heart. Um, it has just kind of cute little white elephant pattern on a light pink uh, sleeper and it's the um, like zipper sleepers with little footies on the bottom and this is what the other one looks like. Oh, I'm also getting hot and out of breath and my hair is kind of looking crazy So I am ready to be done with this video and I'm sure you guys are as well because I think this is gonna be pretty long Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, so as quick as we can we have this cute little set of onesies that has foxes gray trees just a plain blue um, Just kind of a little geometric pattern and that's it. So a little set of four onesies miles picked this one out I actually don't remember buying this but I think he I think he picked it out and this is another one that Miles picked out before we knew if it was a boy or a girl because again with the sailing theme and it says daddy's first mate but I don't see any reason why a little girl can't wear this as well um, so yeah it has a little sailboat pattern and kind of stripies and then the last one has a little anchor and it's this light blue and white stripey pattern. We also have this cute little set from Carter's. This has Mommy's Little Peanut. This is something that Miles again picked out. <laughs> We're gonna get, believe me, there's clothes that I picked out, but just all up front for some reason, there's the ones that he's picked out. Um, but then it has this cute little kind of like jackety thing, long sleeve with a hood that has ears. I mean, baby hoods with ears are just adorable. And then the little pair of pants with a little stitched elephant on it that I think are adorable. We also have quite the like elephant theme kind of going on here. She has a couple different things with little elephants. I love, I don't know, baby clothes with elephants. I just think they're really cute. And then this is what we picked out that is actually um, currently going to be her going home outfit unless we find something we like better. We wanted kind of something really super simple and plain. Um, and so we picked up this little white ribbed, I don't think we'll be using a one, this onesie. It has a onesie in there and it says love and something else on it. Uh, it's a, you know, definition, verb to feel a deep affection for someone, I love my mommy. Um, but I don't know if we'll be using this. We picked it up specifically for the top and bottom pieces and we might put something under it. We might just kind of just use this. But yeah, I just think it's super cute. And then we might put like, you know, a little bow or something on her to bring her home. And I just think it's really, just adorable and classic and I think it'll be a really cute coming home outfit. This I am obsessed with. It's a cute little onesie. Again, some of this stuff is kind of summery and my style does tend to lean towards the summery side of things. So some we did size up to like get for her to wear next summer. So we'll get it in like six to nine month sizes. Um, but some of it we just went ahead and got, you know, three month stuff because we think it's cute and she needs clothes to wear during three months anyways. Um, but yeah, got this little onesie with kind of the flutter sleeves and has these cute little tiny pom-poms lining like a little slit in the sleeves. I just think it's super cute. I love that one. We also got this cute little under the sea patterned kind of like romper onesie and has the cute little flutter sleeves. Again, I love those and has a little whale on the butt. <laughs> And then we got this little romper as well. And these two things we did size up for next summer. But um, yeah, I just think this is super cute. This would be a good thing for like 4th of July maybe with like a little red bow. I think that'd be super cute. And we got her a little jacket. Again, she's going to be born going into fall and winter. So I wanted something just to have to throw over any old outfit. And um, I really liked this color and the cute little fluttery there. And the back looks like just like a little plain hoodie to throw on 
whatever she's wearing whenever we go out basically and then we got this that says the snuggle is real and it's just a long sleeve onesie and it has those sleeves with the fold over mittens which I think are really useful and then this little heart print pants which I think yeah has a little elephant on the butt and then this cute little polka dot onesie and all these last couple things are all from Carter's we did a huge Carter's <laughs> a huge Carter's shopping spree um, early on after finding out that we had a girl and kind of got the bulk of our stuff there obviously we still need more clothes but yeah we got a ton of clothes there um we got this cute little set which i thought would be a nice little basics it's um full of long sleeve onesies and it has this kind of like nice pattern in the fabric and so they're kind of you know fun and special but still i think these will be really great to mix and match with different pants and you know whatever so yeah just a nice basic set of long sleeve onesies again it's gonna be you know she's gonna be a winter baby and so yeah i think these will be really good to have this I picked out before we knew we were having a girl or when she would be due so this is definitely gonna have to be dressed up with some sort of like you know jacket or pants or something because it'll be way too cold for when she's this size it's three months but I just think it's so cute I couldn't resist buying it when I saw it um even though I wasn't even pregnant yet <laughs> it's this little navy like dress that has kind of like some eyelet you know detailing at the bottom and has an attached little um like bloomers kind of thing underneath and I just think it's the cutest thing it has these little flutter sleeves so yeah I don't mind that it'll be a little out of season when it fits her I'll find a way to like you know just put kind of some warm tights under it or something like that throw a little sweater over it but I just think it's the darn cutest thing in the world <laughs> and we also got this set of onesies that again I got before we were pregnant and I thought was gender neutral but then like it totally isn't because I flutter sleeves you can't really wear on a boy so lucky we're having a girl but anyways yeah it has a bunch of cute different patterns and my camera is really about to die so I really hope I don't get cut off we are almost wrapped up but those are the patterns in that set there's also this adorable little sweater that my grandmother sent for her and it has again the little ears on the hat and these ones are like kind of fuzzy pom-poms and I think this will be another really useful thing to have to just be able to throw over her outfits. She also sent this little sleeper gown which I think will be really nice because a lot of moms say it's just super easy for these gowns to do diaper changes in the middle of the night so I think this will be really nice oh, to have. Sorry, I'm like out of breath now. Um, oh my gosh, this is another one of my absolute favorite little outfits and uh, yeah, okay, I sized it up for next summer because it is a very summery piece, but this little, little like romper onesie, I don't even know what to call it, I just think it's the cutest thing ever, and the back is open, it has these crisscross straps, and I love it, I'm so in love, it's adorable. I cannot wait to see her in this. I'm so excited. And then finally, another thing my husband picked out is this cute little navy and hot pink dinosaur print romper. That's again adorable and we sized up for next summer. Whew, and that finishes it up. I'm gonna wrap things up super fast because like I said, my camera's about to die. Excuse me, pregnancy is glamorous. <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and seeing all of the baby products that we have accumulated for baby girl I will definitely be doing more baby hauls as we get more things we've already ordered a bunch more stuff um, for her like we got her crib the other day and we have some curtains for her nursery so we're gonna be starting on that and I'll be doing a nursery tour whenever that's all finished um, but yeah for now let me know what kind of videos you want to see going forward I have um, I could do a pregnancy update or I could also do an empties video I also have six months of Sephora play um, boxes that I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to film just because I fell so behind on that so let me know do you want to see more baby videos or are you kind of sick of them because I've been doing a lot of those recently so you want to like kind of mix it up for a bit um, let me know what you want to see leave me a comment down below also leave me a comment what baby necessities I need um, I have picked out mostly everything that we will be needing or using and I've added it to my registry already But if there's a product that you think I absolutely need to know about and have for baby girl leave it in the comments below because I Love baby products. <laughs> so yeah again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video Please give it a big old thumbs up if you did Thanks for sticking around to the end if you did because I know this is gonna be a long video Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see future baby girl hauls and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye